What's up everyone? Welcome to another edition of Dad Talk. My name is Ken. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button while you're here. Uh, make sure you leave a like at the end of this video if you like what I'm going to talk about. Or if you have any questions, you can leave a comment down below in the comment section. But let's get right into this video. Today's video is going to be about the milliard... Side sleeper bassinet. Today's video is about this milliard side sleeper bedside bassinet. Uh, this was something that was on our registry and it was sent to us by Marissa's cousin Brandon and his wonderful fiance Lindsay and Marissa built it all by herself there's a video uh, with some of that in it in our daily vlog channel that'll also be in the description down below uh, our channel is called daily crazy so if you're interested in daily vlogs go ahead and check out that channel as well but do that after this so we're gonna go over this bassinet it's got a couple of cool things uh, and it's got a couple of not so cool things. Well, it's got one not so cool thing. First cool thing is all of the pockets. There are tons of pockets on this thing. There are pockets on the left side. There are pockets on the right side. The entire back is lined with pockets. They're everywhere. You can store just about anything. You can put an unimaginable amount of diapers in this thing. It, it is just absolutely perfect. It has the perfect amount of storage. Another cool feature this has is the front uh, right here there are two zippers on either side and they they just come right up and around and you can clip this unclip it it folds right down so you can have this right against the bed and you can reach right in and do whatever you need to do with your baby whether it's she's fussing because she just wants your attention or if you need to change a diaper you can do so with such ease like unimaginable ease it's it's crazy there's just a little sliding bar this just pops right out it's absolutely perfect. The height is insanely adjustable as well. It comes up to just about where you see it right now. Um, I know it's a little difficult in this shot, but in this this shot right here, yeah, you can see the whole the whole thing. It's this is the highest it goes, and then it drops down to about at the height of my leg, which is pretty cool. This is about uh, I don't know. I I would say about 28 inches. Maybe it would be the the lowest height on that, but. It's very flexible, so if you have a different sized bed, if you're something lower to the ground, this will still work for you. Um, another feature that it has is that it has safety straps. We didn't know what the hell this was when we first opened this crib. Um, I had to look in the manual. and not, not a lot of people like to do that nowadays. I'm one of those people who doesn't like to look at instructions and doesn't like to look at manuals. And I just couldn't understand why something so big came with this. It's so that you can strap it to the bed, which means it will not tip over with your baby in it. Very, very great safety feature. Another safety feature this thing has is it has several, not just one, uh, several warning labels inside that will probably scare the hell out of you once you open it up and start looking at it because they're right here. You can't miss them. Every time you go in to reach your baby, you're, you're seeing these warnings. They're right there all the time. Uh, they can't come off unless you do feel like you know ripping them off. I'm sure you can do that, but it's not gonna look so good. It doesn't look good with it there either. However, the warnings are there for a reason. Make sure you do read them. Make sure you look up uh, you know, sudden infant death. Uh, look up pretty much everything you'd wanna look up in regards to uh, bassinets and cribs, because there are a lot of things that I didn't know about as far as mattress firmness and stuff like that, and not using certain sheets and certain Hi, Van Dam, <laughs> and certain blankets. Sorry, that's my cat. Uh, this this bassinet does have a small <laughs> a small con with it. I love everything about this, except this one thing. Uh, after Marissa built it, uh, I did a quality inspection on it, which I probably shouldn't have done, because upon inspecting it, I found that the crib was a little lopsided, and it was very, very shaky. And after wobbling and shaking uh, enough times, I broke the foot right off. Uh, I think you can see it. I think you can see it right here. There's three little welds. That's not enough to hold this foot. Uh, so what I did was I contacted the manufacturer right away and they actually sent us two new legs. So I replaced the legs. This thing is sturdy now. It's not going anywhere. Uh, this was my only con with this crib was these welds. I, like, who who worked in the warehouse that day or in the factory? Three? Three little welds? The new ones have at least four. 
But this is just, uh, like, somebody messed up somewhere. <laughs> this should never have left the factory. But other than that, I'm very impressed with this, with this bassinet. It does also have, excuse me, there we go. It does also have a sheet included with the pad. Let's see if I can lift that up for you guys. Nope, it's Velcroed in there. So I'll have to do a shot downward. Wow, that is in there pretty good too. That I didn't is, even know it Velcroed in. Yeah, it's it's not going anywhere. There we go. Nope, wait, nope, it's not Velcro. It's just really tight. Whew. Yeah, there we go. So, it comes with this sheet, which I like. I like the design. It's probably not something we're going to use. Oh yeah, there is Velcro. Weird. <laughs> It has two sheets, actually. Did you know that? No. It's got a white one under it. Actually, that's just the cover. Wow. All right, I just discovered a new feature <laughs> that I didn't even know about. The uh, pad cover comes off, so it's washable. I thought it was just like kind of wipe it down because the front is very, uh, it's got like that plastic uh, rubbery feel to it. That's, that's pretty cool. Uh, one other feature that I did not know it had until Marissa uh, corrected me in the last time I tried making this video is that there's one extra pocket somewhere you really wouldn't expect it to be and it's underneath it's just it, I don't know why I don't know how you would get to it uh, if you were you know in bed with this next to you I don't know how you would reach it I don't I still don't know how anyone would reach it but there's a pocket here it I'm sure it serves a purpose and it also comes with a travel bag no one's taking this thing apart. It's not hard. I mean, you can push the little tabs in and pull the pieces out. Like, it, it disassembles very, very easily. But the, the entire crib is like this, where it's just the little push tabs that snap into place. But no one's going to do that and, and travel with this thing. That would just be absurd. I mean, but if you wanted to, the option is there. But I think that's going to be it for today's video. Uh, if you liked this video, if you have any questions about this bassinet or anything similar, or if you have experience with this bassinet, leave a comment down below, let me know, and I will be sure to answer your questions or concerns or anything that you have in regards to that. But I just want to thank you again for watching. Make sure you give this video a big old thumbs up. I will see you next Monday, I think. I don't know what video I have coming out, though, so leave me some suggestions. What do you want to see? Because I can do just about anything. We have so much stuff <laughs> we have tons of tons of baby stuff if you want to see a baby prep video uh and see all the supplies that we've gotten uh, i'd be more than willing to do that but i'll just leave it at that i'll see you guys next time hope you enjoyed the video